Yo. <laughs> Dropping water bottles. <laughs> Already. You guys ever have one of those days where you like end up somewhere really late at night drinking like three cups of coffee, and then you get home and it's like, man, I just drank three cups of coffee and I can't sleep. Yeah. And then you wake up the next morning and you're like, man, I feel like shit. <laughs> but yeah, sleep is a stranger now. The birds seem to be chirping loud as fuck. Pancakes start to taste like peanut butter and it doesn't rain. Mainly because we live in Tucson, but I swear I saw a drop land on my open palms, waiting for a hand to hold. I have a bad habit of picking at scabs, reopening wounds, tearing skin, and trying to rip out what's left of myself, having staring contests with demons and mirrors, running my hands through my hair, looking for horns. I stopped playing with the creatures under my bed. These pills, they told me it wasn't safe. So I became the monster. I don't recognize the person who's looking back at me. He has black holes for eyes. He's screaming, but he doesn't move his lips. He swears to me when the lights go dark. As clear as God in a pitch black room, he says, do it. Do it. Do it. And as I look into his eyes, I wish he would move his lips, yell for help, rip the words out of his chest, and write me suicide notes, but silence is all I get. Almost 3,000 people commit suicide each day. 3,000 hearts broken, confused, and abandoned. I imagine the sound of 3,000 drums beating in unison, making beautiful music, trying to wake up every lost soul and remind them what it feels like to dance. These drum beats beat me back to reality and I find myself staring back in the boy in the mirror. He raises his hand to his face and tries to rip his mask off. I see burns on his fingertips from hearts held too closely, scars on the tips of his toes from dancing with broken memories. I have a bad habit of picking at scabs. It reminds me that not everything has a happy ending. By the time I finish this poem, two more people have taken their lives. So the next time you see the stranger in the mirror, I hope you ask how they are doing. I hope you listen, and I hope it helps.